Hello, I'm Kate McKinnon, and I'm going to show you one of the wonderful techniques from contemporary geometric beadwork. This is the building of an M-Raw zigged band. And you see these belly bands with their built-in increases and decreases in orange on the back of this rickrack bangle, in blue on the bottom of this hat band in progress, and here in gold on the bottom of what is destined to be an incredibly interesting crown. So. Let's do it! Making a zigged band is just like making a regular MRA band, except that in the spacer row, you're going to be placing your increases and your decreases directly. So at these two points, instead of picking up the normal one bead for the regular spacer fill, I chose two beads. Uh, in this space, because it's a decrease, I picked up zero beads, and so you just have a normal right angle weave add there. And the way that this works is, you can see now, I'm doing a pattern of five on, and then an event. Those events are alternating increases and decreases, so it's time for me to place a decrease. So a decrease being zero beads, I'm just going to pick up the normal three right angle weave beads. And then there is no spacer to skip, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass my needle back through the first bead added, as I would do in the normal MRA. It's just that I'd be skipping a spacer to do that. And so you can see that this add is just two normal right angle weave units together. No spacer. Zero beads in that spot. And then I'll proceed on and add a few more regular MRA sections with a spacer and three band beads. Bypass the spacer. I always go to the front. And then, if needed, sort out your right angle weave beads as you go so that you can keep a nice strong tension on them. And again, the normal MRA, which you can also see in our video on straight MRA bands and building a tri wing ring. All of these are projects from Contemporary Geometric Beadwork, our really fabulous new book. And these are some of the basic techniques that we use to build a wide variety of shapes. In the book, the rickrack bangles, the fortune teller bangles are built on this architecture of the zig band. Uh, you can make a helix bangle in this way. You can make a crown, an armband, you name it. Uh, anyway, that's how this will march on. Now, let me go ahead and get my needle back up to the second row, and I'll show you how to pull this together into a zigzag. Well, as you can see, I'm up in the second row now, and I've begun to place the second round, second row, actually, this is a strip, of regular peyote beads. When I get to a decrease, a place where it's time to add zero beads, I'm actually going to skip from spacer to spacer, which, if you think about it, is exactly the same thing that we do when we're decreasing a peyote triangle or making a wing or a horn. See how that's going to go? So zero beads in the decreases, and then one bead along the normal side spaces. And I'm not terribly worried about tension at this point. One good pull is going to bring this into line. Right now I'm mostly concerned about making sure that I get the beads in the right place. One bead along the side spaces, zero beads at the decreases, and two beads on top of each increase. I'll be placing five beads along each side, and that number won't change as long as my increases and decreases are even. I'll always be placing five side beads. Okay, and now I'm at a point of increase, and when I place an increase, I like to actually let the beads know exactly what's expected of them. And what's expected of them in this circumstance is that they form a peak. And so I'm going to hold them that way when I place the beads. And this is just like any corner add. If you're building a triangle, you're building a geometric form, a horn or a wing, two beads on top of two beads to form an end belly stack. And then I'm going to place a side of normal peyote, 
And, you know, I think the way that you hold the beads is very important. If you're allowing them to flop around, it's not only hard to tell what you're doing, but it's very difficult to control your tension. And one of the easiest ways to go wrong when building architecture is making things with uh, lots of looseness or gaps. That's not what you want. And so every bead, check, make sure it's in the right place, make sure that they're properly aligned. And as I've done with the decrease and the increase, if you let them know what's expected of them, then they will in fact come along. And then it's time for me to place one more side bead. And you can see this not only because I'm at the point of decrease, but because I've placed five beads on that side. So I'm going to place an add of zero beads, which means actually skipping to the next bead in the line to pull that together into a decrease. Isn't this wonderful? I mean, this is just the second pass of beadwork. Tremendous to have this much structure so early on. Okay, see how that's working? Now I'll place all five of these side beads. And uh, being mindful of my tension. And then when I come to the point of increase, I'm coming out as normal in between the two bead add. I'm going to let it know that I expect it to be a stack. Place two beads on top of it, coming down through the second bead. And then I will sort it out again so that I'm being clear. And then I'll add a few more side beads. <laughs> and then I'll pull my tension snug so that you can see the structure that we just made. Let's see, put in one more here just for symmetry. So, <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Now, the reason that it's not sitting completely flat is that it's not meant to. This is an architecture that will be on the bottom of the piece, and it looks like this. If it, it, It'll allow you to make a double rickrack bangle. Both of these layers of rickrack are built on this single orange belly band, which then sits at the bottom of the piece and it gives you both a sturdy structure and an instant add spot for your second layer. You see the second layer of the beadwork would come in and begin in these rows following the same pattern of increase and decrease that you laid in to make the zig band. Pretty nifty. Feel free to share.